Hey guys, welcome to the video. Before I got to welding this top piece to the fuel cell itself, I wanted to make some really nice brackets for my fuel filters and for the fuel hose. I've got the two pumps. I'm running uh, redundant pumps. I only need one pump, but I want to have it set up with double pumps and double filters so that if something happens on the trail, I can switch to the other one and get back home. But I wanted uh, some really nice holders for all this stuff. So I 3D printed some brackets and I 3D printed some brackets for the fuel filter so that all this stuff gets held in real nice. And I want to do a separate video just showing how I drew up these parts that I 3D printed and how I sent it to my 3D printer. Just because, you know, in general, this channel is about um, showing people who want to be fabricating how I do some of my stuff and some of the, you know, options that you have out there. And I know myself, when I got into 3D printing maybe five, six years ago, you know, it was a long battle finding out what CAD software I could use and the 3D printing software and all that stuff. There was, it was quite a bit of a time investment. So what I'm doing in this video is just a really quick crash course of the free CAD drawing system that I use and sending those parts to my 3D printer, which is made by XYZ Printing and it's the DaVinci 1.0. So what I'm about to show you is I'm just gonna take you through really quick how I drew up the parts for the fuel filter and then how I converted it to an STL file for the 3D printer and then how I send it to the 3D printer. My intention is not to like completely show you how to use FreeCAD. There's there's tutorial videos out there that you would have to watch either way. But this little uh, quick tutorial that I'm going to give you, if you get FreeCAD and want to start making parts kind of like this, it's uh, the information that I'm going to give you will really help you figure that stuff out so that you don't have to watch all the videos and do all the experimenting that I did um, to learn how to do this. So. If you're interested in 3D printing, um, this might be an interesting video. If you're not, it's going to be extremely boring and you probably won't make it through it. But either way, here's the tutorial that I made. Um, I hope it helps you out. Okay guys, so this is where you're going to go to get FreeCAD. You'll go to www.freecadweb.org. Then from this site, you will click on download. Download will take you to the uh, current stable versions, and this is where you would uh, grab for Windows, hopefully 64-bit, and this is where you would grab Mac. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just gonna pull it up, and we'll start with the drawing. So this is FreeCAD. This is the latest version. This is version 0.17. And once you've got this set up, and you've played around with it a little bit, and you've watched some of the videos, so you're somewhat uh, acclimated to it, uh, here's what you're gonna wanna do. First thing you're going to do is go up to edit, go to preferences, go to units. Uh, for me, I'm in the States, so I'm using inches. Um, but like for me, I've got it set to US customary. And then I've got the number of decimals set to three. So hit apply, then hit OK. Now, this is what your page starts at. Go up to the workbench here and click on part design. And then go up here and click on new document. Now you're set up to start working on your part. Everything that I know of in FreeCAD works off of sketches, which are two dimensional, uh, basically just a sketch, kind of like what you throw down on some paper. So you're gonna go over here and click on sketch, create a new sketch. Um, I always start with the XY plane, hit okay. And then I uh, zoom out a little bit with the, the scroller on my mouse. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna draw just really rough dimensions of our drawing. So we're gonna go up here to create an arc. I'm gonna set the middle here as the middle of my piece. So I'm gonna highlight on there till it turns green. Then I'm just gonna make some random arcs. Um, I know roughly what I want because I've already designed this part. What I'm showing you a crash course here. The first time I did this, I spent hours doing it. And on top of that, I had to make multiple versions of the part before I had it right. So I'm just giving you a crash course here. So that's the, the general radius that we want. Then I'm gonna to go to capture a polyline. This basically lets you draw lines off of points. So I'm just gonna draw a rough sketch of my top hat here. 
And then I'm going to right click to stop that line. I'm going to start this line on the grid. It's going to come out here a little bit. Just go in there and then I'm going to right click and then right click again gets you out of that mode. So right now what we're looking at is this is the beginning of our sketch. If you look over here, you see it's an under constrained sketch with 15 degrees of freedom. Right now it knows nothing about any of this. You can see you can grab these points, you can move it all around. There's no, there's no rules as to what the sketch is, so it doesn't know what to do with it. So we need to use these tabs up here to give constraints or limitations to this drawing. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the endpoints of these lines. I'm going to click on this red dot, which is create a coincident. And it's going to bring those pieces together. And it's going to make it. Those are constrained together now. So now if you move these, you see they still move around, but now they stay connected because now they know that no matter what they do, those have to stay connected. So I'm going to do that to all the points here. All right, now if you come over here, instead of 15 degrees of freedom, there's only seven degrees of freedom. Click on both of my arcs. I'm gonna click on this constraint, which is fix the radius of a circle. I'll click on that, it's gonna ask me if I wanna do the same radius for both arcs, and I'm going to say yes. And then I'm gonna to need to pull up my calculator here. So I know that my fuel filter is 2.170 inches in diameter. So I'm gonna divide that by two, to get the radius, but then I know that I want the wall thickness of my fuel filter bracket to be 0.3 inches. So I'm going to take that and go plus 0.3, which equals 1.385. So I'm going to make this radius 1.385. Now I know that my top hat here is going to be uh, half an inch, so I'm going to create a uh, vertical restraint of half an inch. And I know that it's going to be a half inch wide as well. So I'm going to create a vertical of 0.5. I know that I want this bottom piece to be inch and a half off center. So I'm going to make a horizontal dimension of 0.5. And I know that I want it to be the bottom piece here. I want it to be a quarter inch thick. I'm going to set this as a vertical dimension to 0.25. All right, now if we look over here, it's an under constrained sketch with one degree of freedom. So if you're trying to find out where that, that not constrained piece is, you can click on portions of your sketch and see if it moves. So you come up here and you can see that we've given this some dimensions, but not enough for it to know exactly what to do with it. So what we need to do is tell this top hat where to reside. So if I click on this point and the center point, and I'm just going to give it a uh, horizontal dimension of quarter inch, 0.25, and we're good to go. Now it turned green, and it says fully constrained sketch. Uh, now this is something that I can work with, so I'm going to hit close. So that's the sketch that we just made, and it's literally just that. It's just basically a drawing. Now, because FreeCAD is free, um, it's pretty glitchy. So I do recommend that you uh, save quite a bit. So I'm going to put Save As, and I'm just going to name this uh, Test. Not Tees. E-E-S-T. So this will just be a test, because I'm going to delete this when I'm done. So let's hit save. All right, now if the site crashes, I can always reload this and at least pick up where I left off here. I recommend if you're playing with this to do a save really every every five minutes just to cover your butt. So now that we have our two, di two dimensional sketch, we need to um, start making this three dimensional. So the way that FreeCAD does that is we're gonna take this sketch and we're going to blow it out or we're gonna do what they call make it a pad. So if we go up here, right here, it's asking us how thick to pad it. And I know that I want this bracket to be half an inch. So I'm gonna go 0.5. And then if you hold down shift and right click, you can rotate the part. 
And you can see now that it's gone from just a sketch to basically a three-dimensional object because we've, we've extended it or given it half an inch of depth. Now, because everything basically in FreeCAD is off of sketches, we need to put a hole in the center of this for the fuel filter. So to do that, we need to draw another sketch. We're gonna draw it onto this existing part. So I'm gonna click this surface and then I'm going to click over here at Create Sketch. I'm gonna blow this up a little bit and center it. And I'm gonna come up here to create a circle in the sketcher. And again, I'm gonna put it right on the center line of the drawing. I'm just gonna pull it out a random amount, right click to get out of that mode. And I'm gonna come up here to the radius. I'm going to affix it with a radius. Now again, I need to pull up my calculator. And I know that my fuel filter is 2.0. 170 inches in diameter. So I'm going to divide that by two and I'm going to make the radius of this 1.085. Okay, now because I started this in the center of the drawing and I just gave it a radius, this is fully constrained. So I can close out of there. I'm going to highlight that sketch that we just made. And instead of doing a pad which adds material to it, I'm going to do a pocket. Pocket takes material away. Again, I'm going to make it 0.5. Okay. Now you see where we drew that sketch and then we just took a pocket out. It made a hole in the center of our, of our piece here. So now what we need to do is I need to add a little hole on what I'm calling the top hat here. So again, I'm going to click on this surface and I'm going to create a sketch. Center this a little bit. And then what we need to do, because we're working off of a sketch, or not a sketch, this is kind of like an, a, 3D, a 3D object that it has made, we need to give it some, we need to create an edge linked to an external geometry, which basically, click on this, you click on the edges of where you want to make your part, and it gives it some edges that it can now pull dimensions off of. It's really about all I can tell you about it. So again, I'm gonna go over here to a circle. I'm gonna make just a random circle. Then I'm gonna give that a radius of 0.1, because 0.1 will give me about a 200 thousandths diameter hole. And if I just drill that out a little bit, that will be a perfect size for my 10 32nd screw that I'm putting in there. Now I need to give this a vertical and a horizontal dimension. So I'm just going to go endpoint to endpoint. I'm going to give it 0.25. Okay, now I've given it a vertical and a horizontal 0.25. And this piece here is half an inch, so that puts it right in the middle. Sketch turns green, which means it's fully constrained. So I can close out of there. I'm going to highlight on that sketch that we just made. And I'm going to make it a pocket. And I'm going to make it half an inch. And I'm going to rotate this to make sure that that went all the way through. And it did. Now I need to make one more hole on the bottom leg over here. So I'm going to highlight the surface. I'm going to create a sketch. Zoom it in a little bit. I need to give it some borders. Grab a little circle here. Just make it random. Give it a radius of... 0.1, give it a horizontal of 0.25, and a vertical of 0.25. Now it's centered and it's fully constrained. So I can close that, highlight that sketch that we just drew, and again I'm going to pocket it. And the piece that this is on is 0.25. I'm going to rotate it. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to save this just to be safe. Now we're going to add some chamfers just for strength. So I'm going to click on the little line between these two surfaces. I'm going to go to chamfer. I'm going to make this 50 thousandths. Hit OK. I'm going to rotate to the other side over here. Do the same thing. Go to chamfer. 
of 50 thousandths. Hit OK. And I'm going to do this little edge down here as well. I'm going to give that a chamfer just so that it has more strength. It'll add more material to it. This one I'm going to go 100 thousandths. And hit OK. I think that's good. All right, so I'm going to save this. This will be my final drawing. But what we've done so far is we've saved it as a free CAD drawing, but in order to use it on my 3D printer, I need to save it as a STL file. So we need to export it as an STL. So in FreeCAD, what we need to do is we need to select every surface on this drawing. So hold down control and you literally need to select every single, every single exterior surface. And you would think that you can just hit control all to do this, but you can't. For some reason, that does not work. So whenever I do this, I have to just go do it manually, which is not the end of the world. So now we go to file. We go to export. Make sure you're under STL files, and I'm going to save this as test. save all right that's it now we just saved this you can click again you don't need these these highlighted anymore now we just saved it as an STL so now let's go open up my software for the 3d printer and import it into that this is the software for the XYZ uh, printer my printer is manufactured by XYZ so this is just a free download so what we're going to do here is you can see it's giving us a representation of my printer bed. So we're going to go to import and we're going to select test, the one that we just made. We're going to open that up. I'm going to zoom in on it. I usually like to zoom in and just make sure that it kind of, you know, looks as though everything's correct on it. Okay, that looks good. It looks like what we drew. All right, so what you need to do at least on this software, is print it. Now, depending on what your uh, 3D printer is, that will be a little bit different. I'm not connected to my printer right now, so I don't know. Yeah, it's not going to actually let me pretend that I'm printing it. So now I'm going to go send this to my printer and print it out. All right, guys, that's it. That's the tutorial. Um, if you are interested in getting in the free CAD, I hope that uh, helps you out, kind of speeds up your learning curve so that you can uh, quicker get to just making parts and, and really having a lot more fun with it. So thanks for watching the video. I hope it motivates you guys, helps you get out into the garage, into the shop, whatever, into your basement, working on something and fabricating. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.